former Pearl police officer appeared in federal court this afternoon pleading guilty to a Class A misdemeanor. This video was intended to inform and educate the public. Hello everybody and welcome once again to another video here on the Junkyard News. And today we're taking you deep into a story that isn't just disturbing, it's infuriating. What you're about to listen to isn't for the faint of heart. It's raw, unfiltered look at abuse of power and the devastating consequences when those who we trust to protect us cross an unforgivable line. This isn't just a story about one man's suffering. It's about a system that let it happen. And it might make you a little uncomfortable. It might make you angry. But one thing's for sure, it'll leave you questioning everything that you thought you knew about human decency. This story, coming out of Mississippi, came out earlier this year. And it's about a former Mississippi police officer who ended up pleading guilty to a federal misdemeanor charge of violating someone's rights under color of law. This isn't just as simple as making somebody ID when they didn't have to. This isn't about a false arrest. This is about a cop who had such disdain for the public and possibly specifically racial motives because he was a white officer and the arrestee was Latino. Now, the man who Green had initially arrested wasn't identified in documents by the court, only by his initials, B.E. It all started almost a year ago, December of last year, when Green, who was a Mississippi police officer, was called to a Sam's Club to investigate a disturbance. During his investigation, he made an arrest of a Latino man and took this individual, after arresting him, to the police station for processing. Once the officer and his arrestee got to the police station, the Latino man was placed into a holding cell so Green and other officers can get ready to process him into the facility. After some time passed, the arrestee was seen on security footage knocking on the door trying to get the officer's attention, any officer's attention, and inform them that he really had to go to the bathroom. His request went unanswered. And as officers scoffed at him, time went by, the man did again plead and beg to be allowed to use the restroom, for the holding cell did not have one. And when his request again went unanswered, the man, not wanting to urinate all over himself, went to the back of the holding cell in the corner and relieved himself on the floor of the cell. What happened next reverberated throughout the community and caused so much outrage that charges were filed against ex-Officer Green for deprivation of rights under color of law. You see, security footage in the police department showed when ex-Officer Green noticed what the man had done and pulled him out of the holding cell, ex-Officer Green told the man, you're fixing to go back in there, and you're going to lick that pee up now. Do you understand me? Now, ex-Officer Green did take the man back into the holding cell and told him to get on the ground and suck it up. He then used his phone to take a video of the arrestee while the man got on the ground and was forced to lick up his own urine. At one point, the officer did threaten the arrestee that he would beat the heck out of him if he did not lick every drop of urine off the floor. After the man had gagged multiple times, Green told him, Don't spit it out! Now, the city of Pearl said in the statement that officials learned about the disturbing event during Christmas of last year and opened an investigation using an independent attorney. Green had worked for the Pearl Police Department for about six months after having worked for other law enforcement agencies in the Jackson area. It is rare for a law enforcement officer in Mississippi to be charged with brutality of some sort, although authorities typically investigate several cases each year of shootings by police. Now, the town of Pearl is in Rankin County where six white former law enforcement officers, including some who called themselves the Goon Squad, had pled guilty to federal charges in the past in a racist assault on two black men. Now, city officials had come out when this happened and came to light and said that this incident is beyond deplorable. Michael Green does not represent the values and standards within the Pearl Police Department. The charged actions have both embarrassed and dishonored the faithful officers who serve to protect our city every day. The mayor at the time was quoted as saying, the proper thing to do was take the gentleman to the restroom and to not do anything of this magnitude that would violate his civil and constitutional rights. Now, Michael Green had been charged on the federal level 
for deprivation of rights under color of law back when this happened. And he was sentenced to prison. He got a whole year. It's unknown whether or not he'll get time served and get out of get out early or if he'll have to serve the whole year in prison. Once he does get out of prison, he would be put on one year of supervised release. He did plead guilty to a charge of acting under color of law to deprive a person of his civil rights. Now, in the federal court, Green testified during his sentencing hearing, and he did take responsibility for his actions, and he said he regrets what he did that night. U.S. Magistrate Judge Andrew Harris shared the details of how Green had forced the arrestee to lick the urine off the floor of a holding cell at the Pearl Police Department. While Green recorded the incident and later shared the video with his co-workers like it was a big joke. How dehumanizing. That is just outrageous. If I was a federal judge and the guidelines allowed it in sentencing, I would have given this officer more than just a year in prison. I would have made an example out of him. Can you imagine being in that situation of that arrestee and having that officer come into a cell and tell you, if you don't get on your hands and knees and lick it all up with your tongue off this dirty floor, I'm going to beat the living F out of you. And then videotape the whole thing and share it around with his brothers and sisters in blue like it was one big funny joke disgusting. Thank you once again for watching this video by the Junkyard News. Be careful people. I'm telling you, you never know when the next interaction you have with a Leo will highlight you in the next video that we produce. Thanks again for watching. A Pearl police officer appeared in federal court this afternoon pleading guilty to a Class A misdemeanor. According to the DOJ's court filings, the former patrolman forced an arrestee to drink urine off the floor of a jail cell. 26-year-old Michael Christian Green, formerly known as Michael Christian Bradshaw, is charged with deprivation of civil rights under color of law. Type of behavior, in my opinion, uh, me being a former law enforcement officer is just despicable. I mean, <clears throat> this, is, this is how I think about human beings. God created us in his image, and to treat somebody like that, uh, to me, is just despicable. If you're going to be a police officer, you got to do things right, and you got to operate within the Constitution of the United States. And I feel very strongly about that, and I apologize to the family of, uh, of this gentleman that was exposed to uh, just the type of um, negligent and horrible type treatment from, uh, from, a, from an officer of the law. The judge has ordered that Green surrender his law enforcement certificate in the state of Mississippi. The former Pearl police officer who forced an inmate to drink his own urine off of the floor of a holding cell was sentenced today. Michael Christian Green is set to serve a year in federal prison and one year of supervised release. Green pleaded guilty to the offense back in March of this year. Today he took the stand to take responsibility for his actions. He said he regrets what he has done. Judge Andrew Harris shared the details of how Green forced the inmate to lick his urine while he recorded it, and that he also shared the video with his co-workers. Judge Higgins said this was a serious offense and that Green's actions were sickening. Videos uploaded by the Junkyard News are helped in part by viewers just like you. You can show your support for this channel by clicking the thumbs up, sharing our videos, or hitting that all-important support button on our channel page. Don't want to miss a video or a story? Make sure to check us out and like us on Facebook at The Junkyard News.